viewers, this is Just Reg Network TV, a home of accurateness and current news. For those who subscribe to our channel, God bless you for subscribing. We we'll say thank you to every one of you. We really appreciate you. And if you are yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below. And now the news in details. Shale Sunny rejects lie detector test wants to swear with Quran. Former Kaduna Central Senator Shea Usani has turned down a lie detector test suggested by the Economic and Financial Crime Commission and instead opted to sworn by the Quran. It was the latest development in the alleged assumption case involving him and ASD Motors chairman Sani Dauda, who claimed to have given him $24,000 as demanded to offer as bribes to judges and the EFCC boss, Ibrahim Magun. According to the nation, Sheh Usani refused to take a lie detector test when taken to a polygraph clinic at the EFCC Wuse office in Abuja. I won't take the test. I do not trust the machine. I am not sure whether or not the machine is working well. Instead of polygraph, give me the Holy Quran to swear with, Sani was quoted as saying. It was linked that EFCC detective later Ask Senator Sani to put his resistance in a statement on hold for record purposes. A highly placed source said, following his refusal, our detective did not force him to go through the test, but they asked him to write a statement on his refusal to undergo polygraph because he had earlier sworn by his grave, but he has not been straightforward. As there are several ways to catch a monkey, the EFCC will be adm administering the polygraph test on Sani's accuser and his wife on Tuesday. According to Daouda's petition, Sheu Sani collected a total of $24,000, approximately 8.6 million naira, by pestering him for the money. Wow! My viewers, I don't really believe all these politicians, even this Sheu Sani that was saying that he doesn't want to use the detector test that he prefer to use the Quran. I don't believe all of them. You won't be surprised that at the end of the day, when we now realize that he actually stole that huge amount of money, $24,000, that's not a small amount of money, close to, close to 8 million Naira, Nigeria money. So you can imagine this. And you know, somebody made a comment and said that, please educate me, when did Nigeria start using a lie detector in this country to investigate crime? And obviously, this is my first time of hearing the detector test. This is my first time. All those uh, politicians, the Oji Uzokalo and all of them, they never use the detector test for them. So this is my first time of hearing all these things. And this person said, I am just reading of it now for the first time. Me too, I am reading of it now. And how am I sure that many other Nigerians are aware of this? And do you want us be, to believe that we can really use this machine? And for how long have you been using this machine? So God, may God save and bless Nigeria. God help us in this country called Nigeria. Somebody said that why not use the lie detector to test APC administration, starting from Buhari and see if the machine will not burn to hash due to the heavy weight of lie on heat. Absolutely right. They should start this detector test from, from the head, from the Ogakpatapata. They need to start it from there first. They say EFCC just want to use all means to discredit Senator Shea Usani. Why didn't the EFCC use the same method to determine the authenticity of Buhari's controversial certificate? If you are sure of only transaction with your friend, go through detector. I can take and hold with thunder if one lies against me to prove my innocence. That does not make you a sinner before God. Failure to go through the lie detector. People may put minutes to it by his grace. You shall overcome. And which is true. If, if She Usani decided that, oh, I don't want to use the detector test. People will read minutes to either. Which people will even say that it is true that this guy did it. Because he knew that. This is what he did. So he doesn't want to use a detector test. So he prefers to use the Quran test to Quran. You can imagine this. And they said, I wonder the degree of deflection 
if Lai Muhammad is tested with this machine. Trust me, I believe, I, in fact, I would have been happy if all, all, of, all the ministers and all the politicians can use this detector test. Let's even know for once to know the ones that are face faithful out of all the ministers, out of all the politicians that we have in Nigeria. You know, it's just, it's good that they are using, I never, I've never heard about detector test. Of course. And this person said that a light detector, if not by haste, is a good device in an interrogation process. It is good that Sheo Sani rejected it. It is true that the machine might be by haste or not working properly as a result of poor maintenance. However, some modern light detector can be administered without the concept of the man or woman under interrogation. Light detector is a liar itself. It can be manipulated. Allow him to swear with the Holy Quran if you believe in God. His arrest is politically motivated. And they said that, uh, please use it for Shomale Tinubu, also for Baba of all liars, Mr. Liar Muhammad. Not only for Shomale, not only for Tinubu. They should use it for all of them. How? Let's know for once, know the ones that are truthful, that are not corrupt out of all out of them all so they said that so there is there is light detector others here available to efcc and yet they are going about investigating cases that they ought to use light detector you know it's this is our country <laughs> it is just god that can help us in our country because why can't we start the experimentation from the president why can't we study from the president to know whether we are having a true Buhari, as we have said earlier, to know the truth? And look at it, $28,000. What about Ganduje, who, whose old word saw stuffing stack dollars inside his Agbada? And it is true. Look at what Ganduje did. A video caught him. Putting dollars in his in his agbada in his native way. What did they do about it? The EFC, the court started his case, and at the end of the day, what did they do? Nothing. They cancelled the case at the end of it. You know, in fact, the way our Nigerian government is doing their own stuff, it is only God that understands. It is God that, that understands the way they run their own uh, uh, territory. Let me put it like that. And they said that you are trying to use light detector for only $28,000 case, but refused to hurt on the petition filed against two bullion vans for Mr. Bat. You are more than corrupt. Uh, because, come to think about it, there are a lot of people that actually, uh, that actually spent more than, that actually spent more than this $28,000 that we are talking about. Billions, trillions of naira. They embezzle a huge amount of money. They would have started from that. They would have started from the big money instead of starting from this $28,000. You know, this is what they are supposed to do. So my viewers today, what do you think about this? What do you think about the case of uh, Sheo Sani? Can you drop your comments at the comment section below? And do you think it's preferable for Sheo Sani? to use this light detector test or do you think the quran is better kindly drop your comments i want to say a big thank you to everyone that subscribed to our channel we say god bless you we really love you thank you thank you thank you so much for making this channel a success god bless you once again